Right then guys, so we're going to do something a little different today, so I'm not playing any arc. So this is Big Red. I call it Big Red, even though it's grey or black. Uh, right then, so due to your kind generosity and for all your donations and everything, I've been able to buy this array of parts. Uh, we'll go through them a little bit later of what we've got, but I've just basically just set it out for a little display. So right, so we'll do a little introduction. So this is a big red, as I call it, because it's AMD. Right, so we've got, it's a X570. Uh, we've got a 390X and a 32 gig Trident Neo memory and uh, two 1080 Ti's. Right then, so we've got a load of parts here. Um, water cooling. So this is my first attempt at water cooling. Well, I say first attempt, I've done it before. But uh, I have got a load of stuff. So we've got uh, EK blocks, uh, XP, uh, XPSP radiators, uh, tubing, uh, Fantex CPU block, uh, P12 fans, and everything else like Right, so what we're going to do is I'm just going to do a little bit of overview of the parts individually, uh, and then we'll do some uh, stuff to put it together. Right, see you in a minute. Tex Glacier C350A CPU water block with a, it's got an acrylic cover, uh, RGB addressable lighting. Uh, the block is 70 by 70 by 4 millimeters and it's a nickel plated copper. XSPC RX480 quad fan radiator version 3. Uh, it's matte black uh, painted uh, brass and copper core. Um, the core thickness is 46 millimeters, uh, two rows of 21 millimeters by two millimeter tubings and 13 frames per inch frames, fins per inch, should I say? And, uh, yeah, so it's quite a thick boy. This one, we have an array of, uh, Fantex tube fittings. Uh, so these are hard tube fittings, uh, G quarter uh satin black um the various different types um there's uh some angled and straight ones in there as well uh various other things like temperature sensor this tap and a like little flow meter and for my fan choice i have gone for some arctic p12 120 case fans now these are really really cheap for what they are uh they're a 120 millimeter fan and they pressure optimize with a quiet motor and uh, the fan speed is 1800 rpm uh, so they can push a real load, load of air and um, they are extra quiet as well and uh, they do compete with some of the more expensive uh, fans in the category i've gone for petg tube uh it's a little more forgiving than acrylic uh, acrylic when you cut it is you've got to be very careful and uh, especially when you bend it as well acrylic needs more heat uh this is, can do a lower temperature and it's a lot a lot easier when cutting so i've gone for that one this is the ek quantum kinetic flt 360 so this is the the biggest the one that they do in the range it's a reservoir pump combo and uh, it's quite thick. It's got uh, RGB addressable lighting on, so you can plug it into the motherboard and uh, synchronize it. Um, it comes with brackets, uh, so you can mount it like to your radiator, uh, but I purchased some extra brackets so I can mount it like sort of straight up uh, on its side. Last but not least is just the water fluid. So this is uh, Mayhem's, uh, it's just clear. Maybe I should watch a tutorial on how to do this. Hmm. You can build a gaming desktop for around $1,000, but I want to go all out, so I spent around $2,000. PC like this is going to be able to play most games at ultra settings. So what do you need to build a desktop? Well, of course, first you need a table. Preferably not metal. If it's gonna be metal, have an anti-static working surface layered on top of it, a thermal paste applicator, an Allen wrench, some tweezers to tighten up the wires, a Swiss Army knife, which hopefully has a Phillips head screwdriver in it, 
And last but not least, an anti-static bracelet, which is to protect you and the parts. These are the parts you're gonna need, but more importantly, before we get there, we need to understand what these parts are doing and how they interact with one another. To better understand the parts that make up a desktop, let's try- Right there, that's enough of that. I think we're going off. I think I could do this. Yes, I've got my full set of instructions. Let's go. Right then, so we just need to uh, remove all the old parts first. So we won't be needing that. And popping out the uh, side panels. I did plan on putting the radiator at the front. Uh, you'll see why in a bit. I've changed my mind. Huh. First problem of the day. Problem solved. Like a glove. Uh, I'll put another one at the bottom. That's the drain port. So I've got the filling at the top and the drain port at the bottom. Plugging in the fans. Cool thing about the Fantex case, it's got like a, a, a fan like hub. So you can plug like lots of fans in it. There we go, a little bit fiddly. Ooh, peely porn. I went for the full line on some blobs. Get on, damn it. Hard tube bending. I messed up on a couple of ones. Um, would I do it again? Yeah, definitely. Spinning it all the time, getting even heat. And you just start to feel it go pliable. So I did the first one, first bend by hand. Using the table corner for 90 degrees. Why not? Just a little check fit. Wrong port, Jim. Damn it. Doing most of the things by eye. I used to do uh, prototyping many years ago, and uh, a lot of that was done by hand and eye. <laughs> this time I used a mandrill. It's basically like a little uh, former, so you can squeeze the tube in and get a little bit of a tighter bend. Just cooling it down so it sets the bend properly. See the thing is if you've gone too far or not enough you just put it back on the heat and then just, just 
give it a little tiny tweak. You do have to be careful though, because obviously it's, if you spend too much time there, it starts to blister up. One more bend. And then that's my first section of the loop done. Just making sure I'm going the right way. That's all you need, just to hold it in place for a little bit, just to, you can feel it. You can just put a little pressure on and you can feel it. So this is the first section of the loop actually going on. Just putting the fittings on. Thing with hard line tuning is you, you need to really plan out your loop where you're going um with the flexi tubing well you just, it's a bit more forgiving you can put your stuff and uh, then do your tubing afterwards but sort of kind of guess it this one you've got to be a little bit more precise i messed up a couple of times as well but all in all not too bad It's quite surprising that uh, you can still mess about with the, the fittings and that, and they, they don't leak. So I was kind of scared when I got water in it that uh, if I was messing about with anything that it was just going to jet water everywhere, but no, they're, 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 pretty, they're pretty good. There we go. First section done. I've progressed on that and I'll just get normal bits together. We did have a bit of an issue. Uh, there was something that was uh, leaking. Right, this is the first fill. There was a bit of a leak, so we had to sort that out. And it didn't take too long. But once it was filled, she be alive.
and oh so pretty. So there's still plenty of air bubbles in the tank. Uh, I've still got one or two more bits to do as well. Um, I need to put a fill port in. Uh, I'm going to 3D print a little bracket at the top. Uh, I've got to order some more tubing. I'm not happy with one or two pieces of tubing on this loop. Uh, I'm going to do them again. But uh, yeah, all in all, it was uh, pretty good. All right, guys, I'd like to say thank you to my brother, Gigaram, who was filming and helping me out uh, while, uh, while this was going off. Uh, but most of all, I'd like to thank you guys. Thank you for supporting me and uh, staying with me uh, all this time while my channel's been staying with me, staying with me while my channel's been growing. Uh, this is a direct result of that support through donations, super chat, and uh, YouTube revenue. So it builds up. It's only a little bit, but it builds up. Um, I'm planning on getting uh, a new graphics card and uh, water cooling that, but uh, that will be for future. Right then, guys. Don't forget to uh, whack a like on it, comment, and subscribe. And here's to the next 20k. Cheers, guys.